Jan Humans and his spectacular Harry. His story begins when he was 10 years old. He was an only child and lived on a farm with his busy parents. Therefore, Humans was always busy fluttering around the chickens, rabbits or pigeons. But it was the birds that always caught his attention. So much so that in 1981, he became a member of the Kirk Real Pigeon Club. His star bird is Harry, father and grandfather of great champions. Like almost all fanciers starting out in the sport, Jan began by getting pigeons from almost all his club mates. It was in 1985 that Humans decided to call the long-distance champion, Jan Thielen, to acquire his first two birds in this discipline. It was not the first time that he went to Thielen to buy birds, for in 1989, he returned to get some offspring of his legendary 510. He also visited the Kuipers brothers and the Sia brothers several times, where he felt at home. In the Sia loft, he acquired 12 offspring of the legendary Aber. Due to his busy work outside the loft, Jan Human's beginnings were not very fruitful and he did not win many prizes. The year 1985 was the peak of his career as a pigeon fancier, as he became the overall champion of his club. Harry Visser was his mentor and the man to whom he is eternally grateful for his advice and unconditional support. For some years Jen was living abroad and setting up his own company and it was Harry, his right-hand man, who took care of the pigeons at Humans. Over the years, his work took up most of his time and so Jen felt that gambling and investing in long-distance birds was the most feasible way to go, as it would be possible to get results without investing a lot of time. Humans had to make do with some good prizes from time to time as his work did not allow him the time to devote to pigeons. That is why Harry kept Jen's loft while Jen was working and those years were very good for both of them. Sadly, Harry died at the age of 63. His good friend Herman Van Cronen, who was a pigeon fancier, took over Harry's responsibilities. Unfortunately, Herman too, died at a young age, aged 54. It was then that Herman's brother Sees helped him for several years while he found someone who could take care of his birds full-time. Partnership with Cord de Hade At the end of 1997, he met Cord de Hade and Jan was impressed by the great variety of pigeons he owned. He soon realized that this partnership was the beginning of a success story. They were both obsessed with breeding top pigeons. After a strict selection of his own birds, Jan proceeded to use the best cores. In the following years, several rounds of cores, youngsters were used, selected in the autumn and assigned to the best place in the breeding season. He has done this up to the present day. The Union with Gabby Van Den Abel. In addition to competing in extreme long-distance races, over 800 kilometers, Humans had the ambition to excel in medium and long-distance competitions, between 500 and 800 kilometers. Over the years, he came into contact with Grandmaster Gabby van den Abel from Belgium. Jan was immediately impressed by the quality and appearance of van den Abel's pigeons. After consultation with Gabby, he made several crosses in his breeding loft with pigeons from the Kleinen line, the best Van den Abel has according to Jan Humans. The youngsters from these pairs were moved to Kirk Driel, Humans loft, to be linked, a year later, to his own loft. Not long after these visits to Gabby, he started to win big prizes, however, the care of his birds was rather limited due to his company and Jan's work responsibilities. Harry, his superstar. Jong Blixem. Original Van den Abel, was from the beginning a very good breeder but Humans had the feeling that he could find a better female for this male. During the sale of Gerard Koopman he bought one of the last offspring of the world-famous Klein Dirk, which is Dirkj. The result of this union is known all over the world. His star model, Harry named after his first mentor and loft manager, Harry. In 2009, Harry, the immortal glory, won everything that could be won in the Netherlands. He did what no other pigeon in the world has ever done. He won two first prizes in the NPO, Dutch League, against thousands of other pigeons, and a third position in the NPO, in one season, racing in one of the toughest disciplines like long distance and in three different types of weather. Throughout the 2009 season, Harry was in excellent form. 
he won no less than five first prizes and two second prizes in clubs. But a year earlier, in 2008, as an inexperienced adult bird, he showed that he was born for this as he won a medium distance race, Dowind, competing against 500 birds, placing first at Moreland Court. He also came 19th against 20,920 pigeons. In the same year, Harry won 21st position in the NPO, 1,198 meters per minute. Harry is the co foundation in the Humans Breeding Loft. He is the father, grandfather, and great grandfather of a number of great racers who are inimitable, both in racing and breeding. In 2009, Humans was still very busy with the family business and it is the arrival of Piet Broders as manager of his loft, which makes progress and victories possible because there is someone who can devote himself seven days a week to his birds. Since Piet's arrival at Jan's loft, the flying has improved with great progress, achieving more than 10 positions in the NPO. In 2015, the tasks are redistributed in a new team where on the one hand Mario focuses mainly on taking care of the racing team and Christian on the breeding team, both under the supervision of Jen and Piet. The pigeons of Jen Humans have been racing in three different countries in 2019, under the name of Team Humans. Jan enjoyed racing his pigeons in his loft in Kirkdreel, focusing mainly on one loft races. The Harry's bloodline proved its worth across all the different lofts. Team Humans in three different countries. Since 2019, the pigeons of Jan Humans have been racing in three different countries. To begin with, Jan races in the Netherlands together with Christian van de Wetering, as Team Humans Netherland. In Belgium, the pigeon fancier Gregory Bacaert, who is responsible for Team Humans in Mall, and Jan is also racing together with John Crahan in Great Britain, as Team Humans UK, Safford, UK. In addition, Jan is still racing pigeons from his own loft in Kirkdreel as well, where he is competing in one loft races across the globe. Team Humans reached its goals. The main goal for Team Humans, under the leadership of Jan, was to excel in the one day long distance. It goes without saying that Jan, Mario and Christian have reached their objective. They have been able to breed an exceptionally talented pigeon family with the help of the descendants of stock pair Jong Blixem Cross Dirk and of Harry and his brothers and sisters. This breed has achieved great results on a yearly basis, both in their home loft and for numerous other fanciers. Impressively enough even the third and fourth generation of descendants have achieved great results. This is a top quality pigeon collection led by an ambitious fancier and we are confident that they will continue to achieve great results in the future. Thank you for watching. Until next time.